Hey guys, it's Jen with Mother Time. Welcome back to my channel. It tis the season for Christmas crafting in July. Now is the time to get a head start on your Christmas crafting. Plus we are celebrating Christmas in July with lots of fun and easy Christmas crafts I think you're gonna love, including these darling gingerbread. Are they not the cutest? And did I mention they are no-so? So they are super easy to make too. You can use these as bowl filler or put a little piece of twine on these and hang them on your Christmas tree. Love these so much. So I cannot wait to Christmas craft in July with you. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I love sharing home decor, DIY, and cooking here on my channel. So if those are videos you enjoy watching, click the subscribe button below so you never miss a video. Okay, you guys. Pour yourself a frozen hot chocolate, sit back, relax, and let's begin our Christmas in July crafting. And I'm gonna kick off our Christmas in July crafting with the no sew gingerbread bowl filler. You could also add some twine to the back of these and make them as ornaments. All of the instructions as well as the free pattern are on the blog and I'll have a link for that in the description below. The fabric I'm using to make these is from Hobby Lobby and I'm taking two pieces and putting the right sides out. I trace out the pattern on my fabric and then I'm going to pin the fabric together and then cut out the pattern. Next, I'm going to add hot glue around the edge, leaving an opening at the bottom to add the stuffing. I'm going to add the stuffing. You can get stuffing at the craft store or find an old pillow and use the stuffing from that. And I add a little bit at a time until I like the way it looks, and then I will close it up with hot glue. It's time to dress this little cutie up. So I'm gonna hot glue some buttons on the center. And then I have a piece of torn homespun that I will wrap around for a scarf. And then I use a black Sharpie pen to add some eyes. And here it is all done. If you love gingerbread decor, you will definitely want to make these. Next up, I'm going to show you how I made these present picks. I love these. You can tuck them in a tree, in a garland, or a wreath. All the details on how I made these are also on the blog, and I'll include a link for that in the description below. Simply wrapping this floral foam that I got from Dollar Tree with some fabric that I got at Hobby Lobby and attaching the fabric to it with hot glue. And you can use whatever fabric and ribbon you like that matches your Christmas decor. Come all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant, come ye, come ye to Bethlehem. Next, I'm going to wrap the present with twine. Come and behold him, born the king of angels. Come, let us adore him. Come, let us adore him. And then I'm going to push the skewer from Dollar Tree into the back of the floral foam. And it's that easy. You can make a bunch of these super quick. And again, these are really, really cute in a Christmas tree. Sing choirs of angels, sing in exultation. 
Next, I'm going to make some beautiful candlesticks. I'm going to start with these glass vases that I picked up at Dollar Tree, and I'm going to add a coat of Mod Podge to them. Glory to God. Mix one cup of Epsom salt with two tablespoons of glitter. I am using Recollections glitter from Michaels and the kind snow. And then I will sprinkle that on top of the vases. If I have extra glitter left over, I will store it in a mason jar to use for other crafts. Adore him, Christ, Lord. Once it is coated, I will set it aside to dry. Next, I am using this candle holder from Dollar Tree and I'm distressing it a little bit with my sanding sponge also from Dollar Tree. And then I'm gonna apply E6000 on top and add my vase on top of that. Next, I set it aside to dry and then once it's dry, I have a nice sturdy hold. Now I'm going to add some hot glue around the edge and add some ribbon. The Father, now in flesh appearing, come let us adore him. I also decided to tuck in some greenery as well. This is so pretty, and then you can add a tea light inside, and it is beautiful for Christmas. Next, I'm gonna make some super easy bells using these galvanized buckets from Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna remove the stickers on the bottom with my hair dryer. I'm going to add some hot glue and then use nautical rope also from Dollar Tree to create a handle. Next, I take another piece of nautical rope, knot it at the bottom, and then hot glue that into the inside of the bucket. Lastly, I add some greenery and ribbon and these darling bells are done. Next, I'm going to make cocoa cups. I picked up a pack of these cups from Dollar Tree and I spray painted them white. And then I also found these socks at Dollar Tree and I'm going to cut them and make little mug huggers. Next, I'm going to attach a button to the mug hugger with hot glue. Now I'm going to add some tissue paper inside the cup and then I'm going to add some hot glue on top of that and take some pom-poms that I got at Hobby Lobby and attach them on the top. These darling cocoa mugs look so cute hung on a tree or to add to your cocoa bar. Next up, I'm gonna take these frames from Dollar Tree and these beautiful gift bags I also found from Dollar Tree during the 2021 Christmas season. And I'm gonna cut them down and frame them for some easy Christmas art. I use the glass from the frame to cut down the picture. And coming up next, I'm gonna show you something else that I also made using this picture and frame. Once I have my picture cut down, I add it back into the frame without the glass. Next, I'm going to attach a twine bow and a button onto each frame with hot glue. Mm -hmm. 
This is such an easy and affordable way to add some Christmas art to your decor. To really jazz up this picture, I have this ornament from Hobby Lobby. They sell them during the holidays, but you can also find them year round as well, usually in the glass section. And I simply hot glued it to the picture and I added inside some faux snow and it looks like a snow globe. And since then I've made some other projects, including this one coming up next. I'm doing the same thing as I did in the last craft. I'm using the same frame from Dollar Tree, except I'm using scrapbook paper for this one. I'm cutting it down and then I'm going to attach it to the picture frame backing with a glue stick. Next, I'm going to add some hot glue in the inside rim and then add my backing. Next, I'm going to attach these trees from Dollar Tree with hot glue onto the front of the picture. I'm going to add some faux snow. This is faux snow from Dollar Tree on top. And then I'm going to add hot glue around the rim of my jumbo ornament from Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to hot glue that over the trees. And look how cute this snow globe picture is. Next, I'm going to attach a bow at the top of the snow globe with hot glue and then below it, I'm going to stamp the words Joy and Noel. And look how cute this turned out. Next up, I'm going to give this ornament sign from Dollar Tree a little refresh. First, I'm going to pop off the metal and then I'm going to flip the sign around and give it a coat of paint. I am using folk art paint in the color Barnwood. Once that coat of paint is dry, I'm going to dry brush a coat of white paint on top. I'm using folk art chalk paint in the color White Anirondack. I lightly dab my paintbrush into the paint and then I remove any excess paint so I'm left with a dry brush and then I continue to do that over the surface until I get the desired look. Once the paint is dry, I add a light coat of Mod Podge and while it is wet, I sprinkle it with faux snow from Dollar Tree. Then I'm going to attach this back on with some hot glue and add some greenery and a bow. I love how this little refresh turned out. Next up, I'm going to make some really cute and easy peppermint candy ornaments, or you could also use these as bowl filler. I'm using these mason jar rims and I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue and then I'm going to wrap it with some fabric. Next, I'm going to tie some twine around each end. And then I trim any excess fabric. These couldn't be any easier to make and are great bowl filler or to hang on the tree. Next, I'm going to make a really cute candy cane using this candy cane wreath form and mop head from Dollar Tree. I did coffee stain my mop head and then once it was dry, I cut it in half and then I'm going to attach each piece to my candy cane wreath form with hot glue.
Next, I made this bow with some scrap fabric and I'm going to attach it to the candy cane with hot glue. And then I'm gonna add some faux cedar, which is from Hobby Lobby, along with the bell. And then on the back, I have some extra fabric that I will wrap around to make a little hanger. And here it is, all done. I absolutely love the way this turned out. And last but not least, for our Christmas in July crafting, I'm gonna show you how I made these darling mittens. All the instructions as well as the free pattern are on the blog and I'll include a link for that in the description below. I'm using muslin fabric to make mine, but you can use whatever fabric you'd like. I traced my pattern on my fabric and then I pinned both of my pieces of fabric together and then I'm gonna cut it out. While my pieces of fabric are still pinned together, I'm gonna to add hot glue around the edge, leaving an opening at the bottom to add the stuffing. Next, I'm gonna add my stuffing, and once it's all filled, I'm also going to add a little piece of twine inside to make a hook so I can hang this on the tree, and then I will seal it up with hot glue. Next, I'm gonna cut a piece off this Dollar Tree mop head that I coffee stained and attach it around the top of my mitten with hot glue. Next, I tore a few pieces of muslin and I'm going to attach those as patches onto my mittens with hot glue. And then I'm going to attach a twine bow and a button with hot glue. And look how cute these turned out. They make great bowl filler or to hang on the tree. Okay, you guys, I've shared a lot of crafts over on Instagram. I have made a lot of reels. These videos go super fast and some of them I did not take for YouTube. So I'm going to share some of those Instagram reels videos here with you as well. First up is this gingerbread wreath that I made with the gingerbread foam from Dollar Tree and then I used puffy paint to make the outline and then I added some little red bows and I used painter's tape to attach it all to a wire wreath form. Next is another candy cane I made. I'm using this candy cane wreath form from Dollar Tree and I am wrapping it with this ribbon also from Dollar Tree. Next I add a bow and some berry picks and I love the way this candy cane turned out. Next, I'm gonna make some Christmas arrows. I found these arrows at Dollar Tree, and then I have these free printables that are on the blog, and I'm gonna trace them out and attach them onto the arrows. Attach them onto the arrows with a glue stick, and then I will add a coat of Mod Podge on top and sprinkle it with glitter. And here they are all done. They're super cute and easy to make. And here's another idea using the candy cane wreath form from Dollar Tree. I am wrapping it with Dollar Tree garland. And then to make it look high end, I picked up a few faux cedar picks from Hobby Lobby and I'm gonna tuck it inside the garland. And lastly, I add a bow and I love the way this turned out. Next, I'm gonna make cute snowman mixing spoons. I picked up these mixing spoons at Dollar Tree and I'm gonna draw snowman faces on each of them. And then I'm gonna use buffalo check ribbon to make little scarves. And then I attach some buttons on the handle with hot glue. These are a cute little addition to a snowman kitchen.
This was one of my favorite ideas and I still use this. I took some craft paper from Dollar Tree and I cut it up like a scroll and then I roll it at the top and the bottom to make a scroll and then I used my Cricut to make this lettering but if you have good handwriting you could obviously write it as well. You can add all of your kids and your kids' friends or your grandkids' names to the list and either hang this up or put it next to the tree. I love this idea. Next, I'm gonna make some Buffalo Chuck candles. I have these candles from Dollar Tree and I'm simply gonna wrap them with Buffalo Chuck wrapping paper and I'm gonna attach it with some tape. Next, I'm gonna wrap it with some ribbon and add these tags that are from Walmart. These are beautiful to add to your home decor or to even give as a gift. Next, I'm going to give the Santa hat from Dollar Tree a little refresh. First, I'm going to coffee stain my mop head from Dollar Tree and then set it aside to dry. While that is drying, I'm going to take some homespun and wrap it around the Santa hat, attaching it with hot glue. And then I'm going to attach my mop head that I coffee stained with hot glue. I glue an extra piece of the mop head to the top of the hat and then I stamp a piece of torn muslin and add that to the hat. Look how cute this Santa hat turned out. Next, I'm gonna turn these Dollar Tree planters into some Christmas bells. First, I spray paint it with gold paint. Once it is dry, I'm taking some folk art antique wax and dabbing it on to give it an old distressed look. So lightly dab on some brown paint and once I like the way it looks, I spray it with some sealer. Next, I hot glue a piece of nautical rope into the inside and tie a knot to make a bell. And then I add some nautical rope on top to make a hook. And look how cool these turned out. Next, I'm gonna make some ornaments using these mason jar rings. I'm gonna begin by adding some twine to make a hanger. And then I'm gonna take some chunky yarn. This is from Hobby Lobby and I'm gonna wrap it around the ring. Next, I'm gonna stamp the word joy on a piece of torn muslin and hot glue that onto the ornament along with a twine bow and a button. And look how pretty these turned out. Next, I found this jumbo gift bag at Dollar Tree during the 2021 Christmas season, and I thought it would make a cool scroll, so I cut it down, and then I take the scraps and roll it up and attach it to the top and the bottom to make a scroll. And then I add some ribbon to hang. Next up, I'm gonna give this stocking from Dollar Tree a little refresh similar to how I did the Santa hat. I am using muslin, but you could use whatever fabric you want and I'm attaching it to the back of the stocking with hot glue. And then I have this mop head from Dollar Tree that I coffee stained and I'm hot gluing it to the stocking as well. Next, I attach a few bells and wrap it with a piece of torn homespun. And then I hot glue on a few patches with some muslin. I also add a piece of twine on the back to hang. And here is yet another idea that I made with the candy cane wreath form from Dollar Tree. I'm simply wrapping it with chunky yarn from Hobby Lobby. Next, I add a bow and some bells and I love the way this candy cane turned out. Next, I'm gonna turn these wood triangles from Dollar Tree into cute little Christmas trees. First, I give them a coat of folk art paint in the color Barnwood, and then I do a dry brush of folk art chalk paint in the color White and Irondack. Next, I'm gonna add a little snow tech, which I get at Hobby Lobby, to the top of the trees. Then I'm gonna hot glue on some ribbon and some cedar picks. Finally, I'm gonna hot glue a little piece of wood on the bottom, and look at how cute these trees turned out. And last but not least, I'm gonna show you how I gave these reindeer from Dollar Tree a little refresh. I simply sanded off the glitter and then I did a dry brush of white paint on top, added a bow and a wooden stick, and these are flying reindeer. Okay guys, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up if you did and let me know in the comments below what your favorite Christmas craft was from today. And for daily home decor and DIY inspo, make sure you're following me on Instagram at Mother Time. Thank you so much for spending some time Christmas crafting with me here today. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.